Okay, this uh, is chapter five, uh, the laws of motion. We're going to study Newton's laws of motion. Uh, let's bring up the uh, PowerPoint. And if you'll look at, you can read the story in the book. This is a, an egg toss. Uh, and the suggestion is that the young lady catching the egg move her hands backwards as she catches it. And um, why would that be? Well, we'll, we'll learn in this chapter why, why that is. And uh, we'll even get a further understanding of it when we discuss impulse. So let's uh, continue on. Uh, the concept of force. Uh, if we, we have an in, intuitive understanding of force. And there's uh, two types shown in the uh, in the uh, slide here. The uh, you pull on a uh, a spring and it pulls uh, the box, slides it along the uh, surface. Uh, you pull a child in a wagon, and uh, you know the the wheels roll and she moves. You kick a football with your foot and the football accelerates. Uh, all of these are contact forces, but we do have uh, non-contact forces called field forces. Um, what you see in D here is a gravitational, uh, gravitational force. Two objects uh, pull on each other because of gravity. Uh, the, uh, that's what keeps the moon in orbit around the Earth. That's what keeps the Earth and moon in orbit around the sun. Um, in E, you see uh, uh, electrostatic forces. The, the uh, negative charge Q is attracted to the positive charge plus Q. Um, and in F, we've all played with magnets. Uh, you know that a chunk of iron is attracted to either the north or the south end of a magnet. There's a, uh, without touching it, there's a, the chunk of iron can, can move. So there's two types of forces, contact forces and field forces. We're going to concentrate on the uh, contact forces. Okay, let's, uh, okay, so the concept of force, you have a force, um, you have a force, uh, F1, uh, and it just pulls down the uh, scale one centimeter. And you have a force, uh, F2. Uh, these might come from hanging a weight on, on there. Uh, let's say one is, let's say F1 is, uh, you hang a 50 gram weight and it, uh, it goes down to one centimeter. Then you uh, take it off and you put a 100 gram weight and uh, it goes to two. It's twice as far. And then you combine the two of them the 50 and the 100, and they add. Uh, and so the, now the spring goes down to three. So the, the uh, forces are add, added. But in, in this case, we're talking about downward, but they also add vectorially. Now, you should know about vector addition. when You just did a, a lab on the force table where you were adding different forces, different masses to cause a force on the on the vector table uh, so we see that the um, the the uh, that should not be f uh, uh, f1 I think that's a mistake uh, it should just be f is equal to the square root of f f1 squared plus f2 squared and it's uh, uh, equal to 2.24 units. Um, and uh, the tangent, the tangent is equal to, um, I mean, the, the angle theta is equal to the, tan the inverse tangent of the uh, y, the f1 over the x, uh, f2. Um, so the tangent of 0 0.5 the tangent inverse of 0 0.5 gives you 26.6 degrees. Uh, so you should, after doing the vector table uh, experiment, you should know how to do this. 
Okay, and that's it for this uh, portion of the lecture. We're going to go on with 5.2 um, Newton's first law.